The word of God, the law of God, equals results from on high. So let us not dismiss, but enlist the works of this Christ idea that is within each of us. Jesus, as we place our issues on the altar, is the answer for us to awaken and open up to our true potential. There is power within each of us, no matter who you are, where you came from, who your parents are, what you drive, what you don't drive, where you live. You have the same power. There is nobody on earth that's greater or lesser than us. We are equal in the eyes of God. In our text, Ernest Holmes, and in Matthew 21, 21 through 22, is parallel in their ways. It says the things that we need, we are to ask for, and we are to believe that we have them. This reaches the very depth of the metaphysical and psychological laws of our beings and explains the possibility of an answer to all of our prayers. When we pray, we are to believe. We already have them. Why? Because we are surrounded by a universal law that is creative and it moves from the thought to the thing. Yes. Do you get that? Yes. There is a power that we cannot see. Uh -huh. That power that created all that we see now. Uh -huh. And it moves with our thoughts. Yes. As a man or woman thinketh. So is he or she. No thought gets by the law. Right. Hello. Right. See, we've been taught that we can sleep here and there. We might bad bypass mama or papa. We might even get something past the preacher. But you cannot get anything past the law. The law is the key of all of our thoughts. So it behooves us to think righteous thoughts, yes. healing thoughts, yes. whole thoughts, yes. peaceful thoughts, yes. abundant thoughts, yes. successful thoughts. Yes. 